Who the heck advised Netflix? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Avatar The Last Airbender live action remake is going to flop. I know, I'm an enemy of progress. I don't care. I'll give you three reasons why Avatar The Last Airbender movie is going to flop. The first reason Avatar The Last Airbender live action is going to flop is this. That story is old and was made for a completely different audience. The kind of audience we have right now consuming a lot of information on social media, on net streaming platforms like Netflix, is a completely different audience. I was in university in the early days when I watched this movie and it was fantastic. It was great. The story rhymed. The jokes were on point. Now, a lot of jokes that were used in that animated series cannot be used in the movie today. And those were all part of the things that made the animated Avatar The Last Airbender, very good to watch. Like they say, if it ain't broken, do not fix it. And Netflix is trying to fix the greatest animated series of all time into a live action. Imagine handicapping yourself like that. The second reason Avatar The Last Airbender live action is going to flop. Lazy writing, lazy project. Netflix could have given us something we have not seen in the animated series before. This way, everybody's going to look forward to something. Because I understand something in cinema production. The moment people can predict you, your project is going to flop. Now, in this case, everybody's predicting that they already have an idea of what they're going to see. So how does Netflix want to impress us? What they could have done is this. They could have given us the story of someone else and someone else in the series, but because everybody can predict what is going to go on right now, it's going to flop because everybody's already tired because after all, the animated series has already been created. The third reason, I'm confident the Avatar The Last Airbender live action will flop. How many live action remakes of animated series have you seen that actually did well? Somebody wants to mention One Piece now. Don't do it. One Piece has a cult following that has been built since the 90s. You cannot compare One Piece to anything that's been created. Besides, I hear that they use at least $18 million per episode to shoot the live action. So there was no way that Netflix was going to let this project flop. It is almost always a given. You try to fix something that is not broken, you will end up ruining it. Because we already saw the first live action remake, how terrible it was. They did not learn their lesson. They decided to do this. Now, I'm going to tell you what they should have done differently. The first thing they should have done differently is this. They should have given us a story we had not seen before. E.g., the story of Avatar Kyoshi, the OG Avatar that had no problem using force or violence to solve problems in the world, creating balance, right? In the age of women empowerment, that is a character everybody would have rushed. We could have given us the story of Avatar Roku, the Avatar that was just before Ang, so we could have seen what life was like and how he fought against his best friend, you know, the Fire Lord souls in there. This is the story people would have loved to see. Another thing Netflix would have done is this. They could have given us the story of Avatar Ang as an adult. Let's see how he navigates his whole powers as an adult and how he fights against villains that are as strong as the Fire Lord. That is something people would have loved to see. But no Netflix decided to do something lazy, right? And the third thing that Netflix could have done differently was giving us the story of a side character that we really liked, like Sokka. Sokka's story is something that is so beautiful. It would have given us an, a human edge. We would have seen the Avatar in action, but centralized ourselves to someone that is human, without powers, and trying to be relevant when his crew members, everybody has powers. That's something we would have loved to see. We would have loved to see the story of Tai Li. We would have loved to see the story of, see the story of even Zuko. That is something Netflix could have done. We could have gotten writers and written this. did, did a good job. But they decided to, to join the stupid argument of Avatar Aang versus Avatar Dakora, who is the strongest. I think Aang is, makes more sense because I don't think there's any reality where Korra will get a live action. But what, what do you guys think?